Ain't asked, ain't asked a, like not one, not one goddamn question about what's going on. <laughs> Yo, this man, he just man picked up your wife in a private jet, took her away for days. <laughs> and you at home. Hey, baby, you have a good time? <laughs> oh, baby, he's a good guy, right? Oh, baby, tell him I say hi. <laughs> hey, you ask about me? What's that sound in the background? <laughs> Boy, they, hang, like that love, boy, they hang out in New Orleans. I mean, drinking hurricanes, riding in carriages together. I mean, not sitting like on this side to this side. They, they snuggled up. Look at this shit. Oh my Look God. at this shit. Yeah, yeah, you're close to the deal all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Close to the deal, <laughs> All right, people. I, if I if I have you, your humble permission, this evening's roast and toast will be split in two parts. We had a late night with a with a with a movie. It was very long, and we've had movies all this week. Usually, we switch days so that we can accommodate these long movie roasts, but to no avail. We cannot do that this week. So I was forced to pretty much split this in half. And plus, people. They don't want to be cheaped out on this one. They, you know, they want the full experience with what we're about to do right now. So just prep yourself. We're going to be doing it tonight and continuing with it next week. We didn't want to keep you here too late. And what are we talking about that is getting such this special treatment right here? What is so special? What is so good? What is this thing that people have been eagerly waiting for so long? that it had to be put in two parts. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll bring you the one you've been asking for for a while, a Tyler Perry classic. <laughs> Temptation, the Billy Brooks story. <laughs> we have a billion dollars walking in and out of these offices looking for love. A marriage counselor, I'd be on my way. Right now, you don't need to be thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Brooks! <laughs> I saw you wait, boy. Well, Billy Brooks looking like he just committed a crime. I, I ain't gonna lie, I have to watch this movie today and like every time I look over, it's freaking me yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Billy Brooks walking like he's one of them those crime specials, right? <laughs> where they slow it down. Oh yeah, they really slow it down. <laughs> you got you even got the look. Yeah. People, this is a Tyler Perry classic. It has all the Tyler Perry things you love and need. This is the movie where we got, this is Tyler Perry at his finest. We got crazy twist, <laughs> un unnecessary subplots. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, Jesus. We, people. You get the full TP experience right here. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, asterisk without Medea. Yeah, with, without making with everything but Medea. Medea just would have gotten away. True. <laughs> so this is a. So this it's is like somebody sliding on ice downhill. <laughs> yeah. So this is about a this is about a woman, Judith, played by. Oh, was Journey Smollett? Yeah, Smollett. Journey, Journey Jesse, Smollett. Jesse's sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's actually, you know, I, that's She's that's hot. that's the good Smollett, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> right. There. That's the non-lying ass Smollett over there. That's the, that's the Eve's body. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So she plays a woman who. Well, I don't want to give away too much, but let's just say she's having problems in her marriage for a certain reason. And she's just fed up with everything. Nothing's going her way in life, career wise, marriage wise, mama wise, until she meets Black Satan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at her right there, too. Yeah. Oh. That's but you look at movie. I know, man. But you're looking at him and you're saying, man, he's such a a, a nice, handsome, young looking sophisticated. gentleman. Sophisticated. I mean, he's got a jet. That guy can't be that bad. He's old. a billionaire. He's a billionaire. He's the black Zuckerberg. <laughs> right. Yeah, old Buckerberg up in <laughs> here, man. <laughs> So what what went wrong here? Why? Why are you calling this man evil? Oh, let's go ahead and get into it. So, so this movie, uh, you know, I I'd seen this in I'd seen this in a the theater years ago when it Me came too. out. 2013 mm -hmm. is when this came out. And uh I think I saw this at a at a midnight movie with my boy Tony. You might know him as co-host anyway from my last thing that we did. Anyway, I forgot about a lot of things in here. Uh 
I forgot the way the movie opened. I forgot how it was framed. I forgot. It man, it was it was nice getting reacquainted with with sure. temptation. Sure, yeah, I forgot about the framing of the vice myself. <laughs> yeah, so so here's how here's how it goes. So the movie opens with a marriage counselor, as it says in the title, who I'd recommend because she knows that she's on the clock, and when she's talking to certain people, you know, <laughs> she. She's trying to save you money because she just, you see, man, she just gets, she gets straight to the point. He's consistent and loving, but I feel like we're roommates and not husband and wife. You met someone. She's like, God, God damn, damn, you're good. <laughs> right. She said, I was rude as f but <laughs> you're right. She said, You met someone? Yeah, yeah. she said, You met someone. Oh. She's like, Shit, how did you? Never yeah, mind. He, he, Could, he, please he, continue. He, he, but from there, it's, <laughs> this becomes this becomes like a, a a a cautionary tale for the movie that we're about to see right here. Okay, as far as saving you money, yes, she does get right to the heart of it. Like, yeah, yeah, I know you're seeing somebody, and she goes, "Let me tell you a story," and then she runs the clock out. Oh, <laughs> I know. Yeah, oh, that's what I'm gonna story. say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she, she, so, so, yeah, she sits up and tells it like you know this this is this is this is like some crib keeper shit. Yeah, she's like. It's, She's like, uh, she's about to tell her like a horror story about marriage uh, and, and for the movie that we're about to see. I'd like to tell you a story about my sister, if that's okay. And yeah, she's like, shit, you're gonna charge me for this, right? Yeah. <laughs> she's saying, look, I gave you a little tidbit for free before, now sit your ass down. <laughs> Do I have to? Like, like the husband left because he knew it was bad. Right, 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 yeah, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he was like, Sh yeah, the husband got up and was like, I can't do this. You like, this bitch, like, she could talk. I'm out. Right. Yeah. She looked man. like she could talk. Yeah, she's like, yeah. talking blue streak. She's like, shit, yeah. this is on your dime, man. Yeah, right. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I got ready. Her eyes are closed. She's like, yeah, yeah. boy, I got some good shit to take. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it started back at all. Can I get a wow, wow? <laughs> let, 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 let me set the scene for you. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Boy, that husband ducked out. He says, I can't do this. She closed her eyes. Yeah. She looked like he was gone. Just. Boy, when you see a middle-aged black woman close her eyes, it look like she's smelling some good coffee. That means that shit's about to go on and on and on. Oh, you heard this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he got Basically. Yeah. <laughs> he jetted. Was it a white husband? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know he got a oh, yeah, yeah. Gonna say, he gets. He's like, I want to hear this shit. <laughs> shit, I was, I don't hear he's like, I've been to a black church before. I don't want to hear this shit. <laughs> yeah, she about to, she she about to get she about to get started. She on one right now. <laughs> you you great, but this is over, right? So yeah. I don't need to. Yeah, we're we're getting involved. Yeah. Okay, go. Cool. No, I don't need to be here for this. The first thing. Tell you a story. <laughs> no, I mean, you shit, you know it's going to be long because she got a crossfade and everything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know this shit going to go. <laughs> now, the first thing you'll notice in Tyler Perry world is that time makes no sense. It's, it either don't exist or it's everywhere. It's all over the place. So... <laughs> in, in this movie here, so she, this story she tells, she says, "Let me, uh, let me, <laughs> let me tell you about my sister." And this is how you know, like Martha, this is how you know this is gonna go along because she's like, "It all started thirty years ago, oh, right?" <laughs> <laughs> to when she was a little girl. <laughs> what? Yeah. No. Yeah. So, so she's a little girl, and. And so to show flashbacks from years ago when uh, 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 Journey Smullett's character was a little girl, Judith, uh, things are just way oversimplified, man. We were so close. We were raised in a very small town. In the 1800s, apparently. <laughs> <'cause>, <laughs> like, this is the color purple. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at this the color purple shit. Yeah. Like, 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 God damn, this is people, this is the 90s. <laughs> you and I must never yeah. part. <laughs> so, so it's cheaper to show us them on a dirt road looking like the 1890s instead of the 1990s, right. um, like it's supposed to be. Yeah, like the third installment of the roots yeah. and shit. From that moment on, like we're going all over the place with time travel. We jump from the 1850s <laughs> to the 1950s in five years. Somewhere along the way, she decided she couldn't fight this. Maybe this was meant to be. This shit look like, 
he's looking like a doo-wop dude and she's still looking like she's back in 1898 yeah, and shit. but also he yeah. looks like he's gonna go get on the colored bus. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's like, how, what, it's, but how also, old are they? But he's also got that 1983 flat top. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the first of the mini talent <laughs> <laughs> it, It's just started. <laughs> People, it's like a, this is like a nexus where time just meets yeah. and gets confused. It's land of lost. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like Tyler Perry jumped in a time machine for these flashbacks and just kept getting the date wrong. Uh, yeah, because yeah. look at her dress. Yeah, look at uh-huh. his dress. Look at him. Yeah, right. look at him. She's dressed like a washerwoman. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm serious. And he's going to audition for the Cosby show. Yeah, yeah and, and the mom <laughs> is, is head of the slaves. The, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, female yeah. slave, I'm telling you. Yeah. But look how she's all, mm, inside the log cabin what? and shit. Yeah, my mom is the most modern one there, actually. I don't know, man. She looks like she's back from back in the day with, <laughs> that, with that, that, that cabin in the background. You don't think so? Yeah, it looks like a trailer. No, well, there's no. obviously electricity, so she's in modern times. Okay, yeah, you're right. But yeah. shit, you switch over to over here. <laughs> like, right across the street is a different period of yeah. time over there. Judas, the butter's not going to churn itself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Come at this gal. But right. these flashbacks are where we learn how Judith <laughs> met her husband. From the moment Judith and Bryce met, something sparked between them. Oh, my God. <laughs> they became inseparable. So inseparable that as soon as they could, I think before they got out of high school, they got they immediately got married. If smiles were dollars, then they would have had millions. Well, there were no smiles at that goddamn wedding because that shit cost twenty five bucks. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That cheap ass wedding right there, cheap, <laughs> over to the church house yeah. <laughs> on the gravel road. And I want I want y'all to look at something. It's about, I don't know, about 30 people out there and they clapping like they in a stadium or something. Yeah, 30. Yeah, 30. yeah, 15 people. Yeah, yeah. About 30. But they, in a, they act like they had a goddamn basketball game. That's true. Woo! You said 30 people. Said, yeah. Hold on, man. Yeah. That's way too much for Kate. Yeah. The other 15 is still in the Yeah, church. exactly. <laughs> Ain't enough hands in that crowd right there no, to make no, that man, much no noise. Idea. You're right. Nobody is screaming. Nobody is. <laughs> nobody hey, no, no, nobody no, shake that mouth like, woo, none of that. Boy, no what else is the most random collection of extras? Just, just look at into each individual one of them. The guy in the blue shirt with the glasses. Yeah, he, he does not belong there at all. Yeah. He does not know. <laughs> I found myself doing something that I didn't think I would do. I found my, you know, when I saw it, I thought I knew this movie and, and you know, rediscovering again today, I found myself doing something that the movie does not want me to do. And that is rooting for Judith. Now, a lot of people know this movie. She, y'all say, no, nah, she's the evil bitch of this story right here. The, the Tyler Perry is telling this movie in such, a, in such an oversimplified way to try to get me to hate Judith that... I actually kind of understand her position because this thing is just they, they try to manipulate me so much with this because they try to tell me she's bad because she left her marriage. <laughs> and as we'll see, it was it was bad the way she handled it. But but it was it, it, she she did leave her marriage because of a reason. First of all, the root of the problem is she met her husband when she was eight years old. Yeah. And she ain't had no man right. since, <laughs> since that little right there. No other boyfriend, nothing. 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 <laughs> since 1918. But you know, this this is this has a just a tinge of religious slant to it. So, you know, marriage is sacred. And you're not supposed to do anything to get out of it. You're supposed to make it work. Now when you've been with somebody since they were eight years old. And I'm saying, hey, damn, they six years old exactly. right there. Exactly. Yeah. She ain't had <laughs> people. She ain't had nobody since before she was even in preschool. Yeah. Uh, and listen, it'd be one thing if maybe they had, you know, money <laughs> later on in life, but they're broke. So she ain't had no experiences. She ain't had no other dudes. She ain't got Financial no money. Tension, yeah. yeah. Shit, they <laughs> so they so broke that they uh they got to move into Tyler Perry Studios. <laughs> They found this cute little place to- In Tyler Perry Studios, that's over there in Georgia. Tyler Perry Studios, right there. And I'll tell you why you can tell. Little place together. <laughs> you can tell because of all that red and brown brick. Uh-huh. That building's uh-huh. in every one of his movies. Yes. But, you know, but it's all those establishing shots of Washington, D.C. Man, they, Tyler Perry, like, 
This is, okay, all this is shot in Georgia. But Tyler Perry does his best to convince you that they are in Washington, D.C. He does it with all these old crazy, he does all these crazy ass stock footage montages. And life began. Well, that case. Did, did, so, so did they drop acid before they hit the road? Is this, is this fool drinking and driving? Cause he's blurry as Oh my God. He got double vision. Right. It's almost like he doesn't even want you to see the street sign. No. <laughs> Zoom in. Zoom in. Stock footage. Stock, stock footage palooza. Yeah. You know what? I was going to say, I was actually going to give him a little more credit and say, you know what? They probably went to D.C. for four or five days, did some pickup shots. No. no he no. picked this up off of, like, David Attenborough or something like that. Yeah. You know, they, they, yeah. He went to stock shit, he went he to YouTube. Shelf of YouTube. Like, like, he went uh, to YouTube yeah. and got that oh, shit. Adobe stock. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that Judith is is, is good, okay? She, she's handling her situation very badly, as we'll see with her marriage. If y'all know this movie, you know, the thing is she's having an extramarital affair with Black with black Satan in here. But the thing well, is, don't, you know, don't I, give it away. <laughs> I, 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 I understand her position, you know, because the thing is they both have dreams, which the husband, uh, I forgot the, was Bryce. It, the Bryce, which Bryce is already achieving because he ain't got no high aspirations anyway. <laughs> Bryce's lifelong dream was to work in a small pharmacy that maybe one day he could own. Oh, good oh, yeah. He's he just he, he his ass is just happy. Sit up there in that little ass store counting them pills, man. Yeah, yeah. Sound very, how you write that shit? Bryce had a lifelong dream to work in a small pharmacy like a bitch. Yeah. And, 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 and not do shit. Do be yeah. a lazy ass they, motherfucker. Not even a, not even like his own CVS or something, a right. small ass pharmacy. And believe me. When he says small, he meant small. He looked for that shit. He's in D.C. and he went and looked for the only pharmacy that looked like that shit was in Mayberry. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, you are not going to find a little pharmacy like that in D.C. No. You had to go somewhere deep in, in Virginia or Maryland. Bryce did. Yeah, Bryce, Bryce, no, Bryce was, that, was a, that, that was a requirement. I want the smallest, most country-ass looking pharmacy that you got in D.C. And Judith is kind of like, listen, I got, I got bigger dreams. I got bigger aspirations. Man, we're in D.C. We, listen, boy, we are not walking that dirt road no more. We're big city folk now. Thing is, while he's living his dream, <laughs> which ain't shit, by the way. <laughs> Count pills, one, two. Hold on, baby, baby, let's count. Yeah. While he's living his dream, she has to put her dreams on hold. Her dream was to become a marriage counselor. She found work with Janice Wise, the millionaire matchmaker. A millionaire who, by the way, don't pay shit because she stays broke working at this place. Like she ain't got no money and she's actually got a good position. She actually pay, she either that or she just don't like her because she pays her the least. And we'll get to that at the probably part two. But now this is why I, I understand Judith and actually feel sorry for Judith a little bit because, you know, <clears throat> they never say that. They never really say why she can't achieve her dream, but the movie kind of hints at it. And they hint at it like this is a good thing. This, again, this is the most backwards ass, religious, country ass mm -hmm. way of thinking. Uh, because the thing that they're hinting at is that Judith cannot achieve her dream. Why? Well, because she's being a good woman, cooking and cleaning for her man. Miss Sarah, I'm always happy when you're around. I get to have a home cooked meal. Daughter, you not cooking for your husband? Not no more. <laughs> <laughs> he might, like, he damn. might, yeah, he might get his ass roasted. <laughs> <laughs> he, he really did let his mouth roll. He really, he, he really like, did. That was the wrong shit yeah. to say. God he's damn like, it. you know, no, it's your mama that said that, not me. I, 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 I didn't say nothing. No, nah, she's looking he's like, when you mother. Yeah. You know how she is. <laughs> right. You you gonna sell me out like that? <laughs> you know, next thing he's up in this. You wanna spend the night? <laughs> yeah, what because you say uh, last night? because uh, uh, right there, she's been raised by her mother to be a good woman and put all her life on hold so that she can cook and look out and clean for her man over here. You see how disappointed she was when she said she wasn't doing that. Uh, so <laughs> the movie kind of hints that. You know, because she has to do her womanly duties, her traditional, outdated-ass womanly duties. 
which his black ass, go, he can go cook for himself at the time. He ain't a bad guy. No, no. I mean, he's a good dude, but he is simple. He's, <laughs> he's simple to a, he's simple to a fault. He, a lot of you. And, and, and even with her saying like, you know, I hate my job. I got ambitions to start my own thing. No, nah, you don't need to be doing that. Let's give it 10 or 15 years. Yeah. You're like, what? 10 or 15? <laughs> yeah. Shit, it's like people retire by then. Exactly. What's that talking about? Shit, you know, that, you hell, it, takes 10 about, it takes about 10 or 15 years to get your business started. Right. Yeah, you know, he, he just, he ain't, he ain't a bad guy. He just, he just dumb as Man, that's a. I'm gonna keep counting these pills. Yeah. And then, next thing you know, I'm gonna be on lettuce. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> when your partner, your spouse is feeling a certain way, they ain't start to get passive aggressive. Mm. And you don't start telling, you don't start saying things or telling them things until it's too late. And then that shit, that damn. <laughs> I mean, that, man. <laughs> you want a trumpet too? <laughs> put, a, put a mute on it. <laughs> uh, you know, the until it's too late. And what I mean by too late is when something happens and that person has exploded. Now, I'm looking at this. Y'all tell me what you think. You know, we have... You know, we got this situation right here where uh, something went down and it's prop maybe it was maybe it was handled like it should have been. You know, and when I say like they should have been uh, like preventing yourself from getting your ass beat, you know, or killed or killed. I get it. But, you know, I, I see another side to this, too. With the That's a fine ass bitch right there. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you know what? Right. You need to be in charge. Get in the He's park. Like, Fuck off. Yeah, you, you get me you killed. Trying to get me killed. Yeah, what are you doing? Exactly. Now, now, listen. Yeah. Thing yeah, is, yeah, before I go into anything, you know, now you know he got it bad when he got home. Shit, he might have been better off getting his ass beat by those thugs <laughs> back there because <laughs> thing is, when a black woman starts going, and you get in the car and she's still going, man, she cussed them dudes out all the way home. Oh, yeah. Them dudes weren't even there no more. And she, and she, she was still, yeah. she was driving down the street, still cussing them out. You know he got it bad when he got home. I'm just so regular on the street. Enough, let it go. Let her get it. Show it! He was like, come on, start it. Uh, yeah. When you get that car, you're like, start this <laughs> button. You're like, wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Shoot him. Oh. You just see the door open. She get pushed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, uh, he, he's getting it pretty bad because she's already feeling underappreciated. Now, I I, I, I get what, what he's, where he's coming from. It's like, damn, it's three of them and one of me. And I'm like just an inch above Kevin Hart. So, uh -huh. you know, I, 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 I understand you're coming from, but shit. I'm gonna be the one to get that ass whooping, not you, right? Or killed, or killed, or it could be both of us. But I was just right. thinking, you know, at the same time, when I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, he he, he really is dumb. And after all this shit, where she's mad, she feels like he didn't step up like he should have. He's still going home expecting to get some ass. Baby, been really quiet since dinner. Get out here or something. He's like, uh, he said, uh, let me hear what he said again. Cause he, I think he said, cause I think he said something wrong. Or what, what you thinking about? Baby, been really quiet since dinner. Did I miss something? He said, "Baby, is you been quiet since dinner? Did I miss something? Like, did you not? Did like like missing those dudes calling me a bitch back then? Yeah, I also missed an asshole too, yeah. bitch. So I'm sorry. Have we gonna do this or what? He said, well, baby, they 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 called you a fine ass bitch. Yeah, so it's really a compliment when you think about it. I get it. I get it that you know that she that that it's a dangerous situation. He should have probably shut the hell up, and, and he probably did the right thing going on. But right. but he, she and she was out of line, probably going crazy. But you know, he, he man, look, he could have said something. He could have said he could have turned around and just like listen. Oh, wow. As long as you give the just the the illusion that you're doing something, I ain't saying you got to turn around and be like. I'm talking to him. if he just said, guys, come on, that's my wife, <laughs> something like that. That could escalate. Even yeah. worse, because then you show weakness. Yeah, the only move would have been to yell, <laughs> call them assholes, from with the, the window car. down from the car, <laughs> just drive it off. Move the car. Yeah. 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 Oh, right, she right. wouldn't have let him get away with that. <laughs> oh, you big man when you driving away. <laughs> Baby, come yeah, on. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll be live tonight, too. <laughs> You got to do something. I don't know what the situation would be, but she's been putting her dreams aside for this man. 
Yeah. It, it, she, this is one more brick. This is, she had been putting, normally I would say you've done the right things, but you've been putting your dreams aside, been saying wait 10 or 15 years and this shit happens and you don't step up. You might have wanted to take that ass whooping. Yeah, you Just, I, I got me, but I, I've been like, yeah, I did something for you. I got your ass home safely. Now look, now look, I may not get no ass tonight, but, I, I, but God damn it, I'm waking up alive with a dry ass dick. That's all I know. Listen, he might want to do anything because she's already feeling neglected. She's already feeling like her life is being put on hold. And that's why you know. Uh-oh. That's why, yeah, that's why you know. <laughs> you see, I, I mean, see, that's why, that's you, why know. you know. It's like you might have wanted to take the ass whooping because that ass whooping might have been better than oh my Billy God. Brooks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he even walks like me. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. No, yeah. I'm not even trying to be funny. That no, no. Me out. Dude, that's dude. how I walk. No, I know. When I saw it initially back in 2013, we made jokes about, like, oh, that's Billy. Watching the day, I was like, okay, this is freaking. Like, no, <laughs> you brother, you might have wanted to take that ass whooping because <laughs> Billy's right around the really, corner. Hey, yeah, <laughs> shit. Okay. You might want to get you might want to get your ass whooped by those dudes instead of Satan, right? Now. Hey, he's the one to set them. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my god, what's that? Billy Brooks, everybody. <laughs> That's who it is. <laughs> People. And everybody know he's trouble, man. Every, he's trouble. The moment that, listen, I don't know how he missed all the signs with this, man. <laughs> well, he's all smooth and charming. See, that's what you see the aloof. first time. This is some M. Night Shyamalan shit. Yeah. Where you didn't know that Bruce Willis was dead uh -huh. the first time you <laughs> right, watched the right. movie. You go oh, back and no. like, how did I miss all this? Well, the thing is, man, for all his being, you know, smooth and charming, he's a, a try too hard and he's a f creep. Well, well, we'll get to all that. Don't jump ahead. <laughs> right, you know, right. the, everything, you know, the, everything, everybody knows that this guy, when you look at this at the beginning, everybody knows that this guy is trouble. Now, you might not know the first time, but, I, but when I, when I, when I, when I watched this the second time, I was just like, oh my God, how did I miss that? <laughs> you stop it! Like, oh man, oh, yeah. you know what I mean. I'm looking Mary at this just right now. Grabbed her ass, one yeah. of the two. Like I mean, Vanessa Williams was like, yeah, that's Vanessa yeah. Williams. I'm like, he clearly up, man, mm -hmm. looking good too. Yeah. So you know, yeah, he's having his own her ass right, right now. now. Hey, shit, he, yeah, he's he, working her like a puppet right now. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. but it feels so good, but I better take it off. Yeah. And she's all, oh, stop it. Yeah. Own the company. Clearly, he and, the, and, 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 and Judas sit up there like she ain't got a clue. Being serious. I, and she look at her. She's <laughs> like, oh my God, this manhole right here. But. Oh, thing that, is, is that what she's thinking of that now? She's thinking that this dude, you know, before, before that thing happens, he's like, oh, this guy, because everybody's falling over this guy, talking about, oh my God, it's, uh, it was this guy's name? Harley. Har Harley. Oh my God, it's Harley, the, the, the biggest thing in tech today, you know, this guy. Oh, so he's notorious. He's, yeah, he's the next Zuckerberg, or he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a tech genius. Yeah, his, his, his company, his, his, his app is Class Me. I yeah, think something like that. Okay. So, some shit that Tyler Perry made up to me. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. See, I was just about to say yeah. it's, 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 yeah, it's, my life, it's written by somebody who doesn't know how these things work. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he always does that. He's, like, he's always, he's rich, man. What does he do? Business. Just again, <laughs> the oversimplified storytelling. Who does everybody know? Zuckerberg. Who can they like compare it to? Everybody knows Zuckerberg. Um, it's an app, of course. So that's that's not my problem with, with this girl that she wanted out of her marriage. You know, people change, man. You know, people, you know, and you can't judge people for, especially when they met their husband at eight or six years old. I mean, come on, I get it. So my problem is not that she wanted to be out of her marriage. Uh, my problem is that she allowed herself to be played by this guy right here. Because this guy started playing her the moment he stepped on the scene. So he, he's thinking about investing in this company, this this dating company that she's that she's working with right now, which Vanessa Williams, her character is over. Mm -hmm. And so to, in order to come in and just kind of get a feel for the company, he says that he created this uh, this 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 fake and very cheesy profile so that he can just, you know, like tech people do test out the algorithm. But what he really did it for is to come across as a very sensitive guy to old Judith over here. You 
believe in love, but because you've been hurt a few times, you've given up on it. Looks like you got a little bit of a mean streak, though. Yes. Very attentive. Yes, it's all going as planned. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, for real. Look at him. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you, oh, where's yeah. the cat he's supposed to be stroking? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm like, what the? Yes. I mean, you want to change that look, brother? <laughs> if you want to, I mean, before she looks back up at you, <laughs> yeah. you're going to give, I mean, I mean, you're gonna give like, away the whole mm. plan. He's all like, yeah, I got that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got that ass yeah, now. Yeah, just staring. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, this should have been the first time. I mean, plus that profile is just. <laughs> Cheesy man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, cheesy, he wrote man. in. He wrote in there what every guy thinks that every woman wants to hear. That woman, a woman knows his bullshit. Right. I'm. I'm sensitive. I've been hurt I've, a few times. I've been hurt a few times. times. I'm good about love. I'm, yeah. But I'm. But I'm also attentive and observant. Too observant right here. Yeah, for real. He's looking through yeah. his soul. Yeah. It's, 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 it's. She's supposed to be the the dating whisperer. She can read yeah. through a profile and and tell you everything about you. And I was like, you missing all the red flags. She can't. Yeah. She, yeah, she can't see through this horse shit right here. <laughs> And he's laying it on. He's laying it on thick too, playing the the the, the broken hearted victim. My last relationship was back in college. Fell in love with her. Just, I, I haven't really been able to rebound since then. Boy, he's working those eyes and everything. Oh, man. This man is going through. He's going through sad convulsions. <laughs> you know. You know what's going on? <laughs> Taking those pauses. He's got an earpiece, <laughs> and one of his assistants is feeding him lines. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn the page. I mean, and she, she walked out. And, uh, yeah, she, this, <laughs> this man is going. He's going through it. He's like, oh. I mean, again, trying hard. I mean, yeah. he's acting bad. I know. Oh. It was, she walked on on me and it was trying to squeeze the tears out. It's, 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 it's been so hard. And it's like, God damn, man. Well, watching this with my wife, she was like, I can't take this. She's like, in Tyler Perry world, everybody comes in and just tells you everything about themselves. Yes. Right. <laughs> like nobody just goes, oh, and this is blah, 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 blah. Oh, and yes. here's the obvious stuff. Oh, and let me restate everything you've seen up to this point sure. already. Yeah. Now, most people at this point would be like, bitch, please. They would know. Yeah. Right. They would know you full of shit. But the pro that's where we get to the problem with her and her history. She ain't been with no other man. She ain't had no other dudes. So she don't know, she don't know the game when she sees it. <laughs> college. And I'm looking at this and it's like, oh shit, she she doesn't, she's adopted a puppy. <laughs> oh yeah, she already, yeah, she already, she, that honey she she already taking the dog home, giving him the name and saying, can I keep him? So yeah. he got her. Yeah, he, she's, she's resisting most of the time, but he, when he crosses the line, she, she never says, get yeah. the away from me. No, and, and he knows that once, <clears throat> he knows that once he's got her, he's like, well shit, since, since I'm in now, I can unleash the creep. Oh. I can be full I, I now. Can, I can act the fool now. Huh? Yeah, because he once he's in, he's like, well, shit, now I can start getting too personal. My husband and I are very compatible. How would you know how sexually compatible you are when you have nothing to compare it to? This is the part where you say, how about that's none of your goddamn business? Mm -hmm. But and, and you leave because yeah. he's done it several times. But no, oh. she still asks. She's still asking questions. So he's like, "Well, shit, you know, I guess <laughs> yeah, I can say anything I, I want to now." So he goes from being a little bit too personal to just shit, just not just being a freak. What's wrong with the bedroom? You know, the sex should be random, like animals. When it happens, it just happens. She's like, "I gotta get the." <laughs> If only. If only. If only. If only. Yeah. She's like dick challenged. You know what I'm saying? She don't know no better, man. And different. now, and it, and it worked. It worked on her stupid ass. Cause the neck, cause he, cause she said, I think I saw you jogging around outside, outside this place. Yeah, this billionaire just out jogging around. Uh -huh. Like, it's funny. This dude who's the next Zuckerberg that everybody's heard of, she see she who she has no clue about been like, oh wait a minute, you're the guy that jogs around my park. Get the out of here with this writing. Anyway, <laughs> she, she thinks she's the helicopter drops him off. Yeah. It was like this is like being like, oh, 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 Steve Jobs. Oh, you shop at the Whole Foods I go to. Oh, I know you, man. You know that kind of bullshit. Right. Come on, get it, get out of here with this, man. <laughs> yeah, for real. Now, yeah, book billionaire just walking, just running around. <laughs> Not where? Shirtless. DC. Shirtless, shirtless, there, shirtless yeah. in DC in her neighborhood. Mm. But she knows that but now, now she knows where he jogs. So now, now all this nasty shit, this creepy stuff has got her intrigued because she, again, she ain't had it like that in her life. You know, this is exciting. So now she out in the park. 
hiding behind trees like a goddamn Looney Tunes oh character. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, for real. Look, looking like Wile E. Coyote coming out of the shit. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, oh. like you waiting, like, like she waiting on the road running and shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. So she's out there uh, uh, waiting on him and she conveniently gets hurt. We'll come back to that in a little bit. She conveniently gets hurt. Uh, while she's out there shit. trying to jog, jog with him, yeah, written, yeah, hurt her, you know, yeah. like 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 women all the time in movies, <laughs> always, <laughs> always the ankle, yeah, always that yeah. ankle, always the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hurt that ankle, man, and so uh, you know that just gives him a reason to uh, to to pick her ass yeah, of up, course. hoist her up, yeah, us. pick her ass up like King Kong picking up, you know, <laughs> a gorilla picking up a woman and shit. <laughs> And, and kick. Glisten, glistening probably Glist, too. Yeah, shiny as yes. I knew, you know he was shot. He was spraying that shit. Boy, he ain't ran a mile. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's hiding behind a tree. Yeah. He's yeah. over there spraying yeah. himself. Yeah, she's in there hiding behind a tree. Shit, he jumped in that water over there like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so he, so she falls and hurts her ankle like women do in these movies. He, com, you know, convenient for him. He picks up like a goddamn gorilla or something in a movie and, and carries her back to his place, listening and shit. And and so the thing is, he knows that he has her hooked so well. Oh no! He knows he put that 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 thing on her so oh. well that he's not when he takes it back to his apartment, nice ass apartment Curtain. too, with all that. You know, Tyler Perryville brick on it. Oh yeah, yeah. He got he, he got real estate in Perryville. Yeah. But yeah, it's super modern, but it has that old ass brick. It does. <laughs> uh, the nineties bricks back there. But he brings it back to his really nice apartment, and he's not. He had. He knows he has a hooked so well. He's not even trying not 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 trying at all. Oh yeah. To hide That's the, the evidence of the woman that was there uh, the, the hours ago. Well, I don't miss anything either. Like the smell of jasmine perfume on the sofa. Don't play with me, Harley. Harley, like, I ain't playing. I just don't give a shit. Right, exactly. He said, he's like, I can see, clearly live out and play. Yeah, right, right, he's, right. Yeah. he's Sherlock Holmes. He's, he's like, yeah, I'm already in. Right. Ain't nobody trying to hide a goddamn thing. Yeah. And, like, you mean the girl right there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's still and, there. Yeah. By, I was going to say, by the way, <laughs> if, if, a, if, if you go into a dude's house, and high heels and diamond earrings are still are still lying out. That bitch is still in there. Yeah, she's yeah. hiding somewhere. She's, 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 in, she's still in the bedroom. In the she's hiding in the closet. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless she just climbed out the window and run down the street barefoot or something. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Uh, unless those are his shoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which yeah, is a whole other issue. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah, which I can guarantee you they ain't. Harley goes from creep in. in, in and, and freak to just being weird. This is like, you know, right, like really, when he can just, when all things are just out there now, when he knows she ain't going nowhere, he just, he, he just becomes just, just, just weird. Like he starts to be just a, just a, a little bit, just a little bit too observant. Your left temple throbs when you're in deep thought. That's very sexy. How slow you're breathing. You know, when you start talking like a serial killer oh, and, yeah, exactly. and, and, and you stay, you ain't going nowhere. Right. That shit you in. When you sit up there and start talking like Hannibal Lecter and shit. Yes, Hannibal right. Lecter. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Your left like, temper. Yeah, left temper. Yeah. <laughs> the sex sounds like your breathing. Pulsating vein in your forehead. Clarice, <laughs> I mean, Jill. Yeah. I can only imagine how your esophagus tastes. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> That's some foul beans and candy. You know what's funny? It's almost like he's like, you know, this is too easy. I'm gonna start doing weird shit just to see if I can get it. Yeah, he's just, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. See, I'm gonna see what, how far I can push, push this. Like, hey, what he does normally? He's just like, no, you know what? I, this no, this is just too easy. I can't. And I kept saying I that, you know, I kept saying that, uh, uh, just how you know how crazy it is, uh, just how you turn crazy. Because when we were talking about this before, my biggest thing was, man. This, this is that movie where that guy just out the blue, all of a sudden, just turned just turned crazy and evil. And I tell you, I have to give it to old TP, man, old Tyler Perry. He, through, I was saying this already throughout this movie, he was telling us. He was telling us, though, I, I told you some M. Night Shyamalan shit. He was laying the clues out there. You know, dropping clues all the time. We just have to watch it a second time to find them and put it all, put all the pieces together. He went crazy early in the movie, doing that jogging scene. Well, who's leader? Who's dead? Watch out, watch out. Look, oh. 
she oh, ran. Oh shit! She, she ran. She, she ran right, right into that bike. Yeah. She ran that bike like she was trying to steal it. Right. Like she, <laughs> she, she was trying to tackle yeah, him. She, she ran that bike like she was trying to carjack him. Yeah. No, bike jack him. I mean, it was like, you know, I watched that. She's like, huh? Bam! Yeah. Like she's looking dead ahead, and the guy's on the bike's yeah. like. Watch out! <laughs> God damn. Yeah, she ran, ran yeah, she right into his. Notice, now this is important. First of all, this, <laughs> this is just badly shot because she. I mean, it, 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 you know, Tyler Perry ain't got no money for no stunt man or anything. A stunt woman, he so he does. Just, he just doesn't he, spend just, it. he don't want right, to spend right, it. Right, yeah, right. he don't want to spend it. So he just <laughs> yeah, said, yeah. he just <laughs> said, you know what? Run into the bike, and by the way, watch where you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, right. So he had to look straight into that bike and run into it. Now that's important for another reason. Keep in mind, she ran into the bike. <laughs> watch out, watch out, look, oh, oh, say something. Look, her, dude, look, dude. No, Harley, no, Harley, wait, wait, no, 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 Harley, no, Harley, Please. Harley, I'm okay. I'm really sorry. I'm okay. Lost his mind Man. right there. We laughed so hard at that little fake fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and that, I'm going to tell you, the worst actor in that scene is the dude on the bike. Right. He ain't even trying to resist. No. Come on, man. Come on. Hey, okay, man. I'm sorry, man. Ah, oh, man. Come on. I mean, that was such, so so play acting. I was like, did he hire that guy? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, he hired the dude on the bike. He's yeah. like, now make it look good, all right? You know what it, you know what it looked like? It looked like the dude is blind. Blind. Yeah, <laughs> he's not blind. He's just a terrible actor. Like, look how he's handling here. He look like, look like Ray Charles is getting beat up. Look at this. Say something. Look her do it. Oh, Holly ain't putting out effort and then pushing some of those shows in. Because he's dead. Because you don't want to hurt him. Because like, yeah. Tyler Perry ain't trying to spend no money. He don't want nobody to get hurt. Yeah, that's true. That's true. See, he told both of them. I'm is. Both y'all be careful. <laughs> and he didn't. And <laughs> don't don't hit him too hard, and don't you get hit too hard. We're gonna get stunt coordinator. We don't need all that. Just <laughs> fucking both y'all be careful. Yeah, <laughs> shit. Was like, yeah, beat his ass, yeah. but be real careful about it. Yeah. He's he no stunt coordinator. Yeah. Tyler Perry's ever been in a fight. That's how he I ain't fight. taking I ain't taking either one of y'all to the hospital now. So y'all yeah. y'all be careful. But look at this dude when he's fighting. Dude looks like a goddamn oh, rag doll. Yeah, look like a look, look, look like I said like Ray Charles. Look yeah. at him. I didn't oh, see you. Say something. Yeah, look, no, no, no. <laughs> you know what it is. And listen to his lines. He's like, no, hey, no, man, no, no. sorry, man. No. Please, I'm sorry. Uh, Harley, wait, wait. No, hey. no, 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 Harley. No, Harley. Please. Harley, I'm okay. I'm really sorry. I'm okay. <laughs> Please, sorry, man. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Next day after this man assaulted people, <laughs> being, a, being weird, kind of. asking her about her sex life, staring at her all crazy. What does she do? Hop on a private jet and go to New Orleans with him. Acting like they're newlyweds, man. Acting like they just got married. When the saints go marching in the high. I mean, keep in mind, this is when she's still telling him, no, no, I'm married. She's on a jet. Eating hanging out, hands out hanging out with him in New Orleans. Eating at his he, hands. He's rubbing goddamn uh, 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 funnel cake powder on her nose and yeah. shit. Yeah, well, that's the funny thing. <laughs> it, it, even, <laughs> even eating the, the beignets. She, he's feeding them to her, and while she's eating it, he's just staring at it all the yeah. time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, you're you back on, you're back on, take a bite. The sun begins to shine. Look, ain't took, ain't took yeah, his yeah, eyes yeah, off yeah, of yeah. him. He's like, you good, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, you make you think he put something in, yeah. in your drink. And he probably did. Yeah. And the no beignet him. and the drink. Yeah. Now he's like, that shit, the beignet didn't work. Yeah. All right, let's get started. <laughs> now, what, what pretense did she go to New Orleans with him? Like, they, they're going to close a deal. What do you? Yeah, don't even. All yeah. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't, don't and, worry. And, 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 and Vanessa Williams, her boss, yeah. is all like, he really wants you to go yeah. with him. Now, you got to watch him. Yeah. He, he crazy. He won't put his dick at it anytime. He already put his hand on my ass 10 times already. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, back in Tyler Perry. Ah! <laughs> I was just about to ask you this, bro. Look, sorry. Ain't doing shit. Ain't asking questions. Ain't doing nothing. Bill. Yeah, just <laughs> one, one Flintstones vitamin, two, two Flintstones vitamins, three Flintstones vitamins. <laughs> Meanwhile, he ain't he ain't doing this. This man's out here feeding his goddamn wife funnel cake and beignets, and he back at home. Cotton like pills. Like, like, that, like you that, always that say, is look at unrealistic part of this is that he ain't never suspicious. <laughs> not asking never. no questions. You said no questions. No, no. Yeah, yeah, no questions. Every time she's like, yeah, they got me working late. Again. No good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, brother. 
Hey, they should take care of my wife. Yeah, yeah. I'll see yeah. you later now. <laughs> yeah, he's just stupid, that man. That pills account. Yeah. You, you, you know it's a grind, yeah. right? I know you know. Yeah, <laughs> ain't asked ain't ask stuff. Not one. Not one goddamn question about what's going on. <laughs> Yo, this man, this man picked up your wife in a private jet, took her away for days. <laughs> and you at home. Hey, baby, you have a good time? <laughs> oh, baby, he's a good guy, right? Oh, baby, tell him I say hi. Hey, you ask about me? What's that sound in the background? <laughs> Boy, they hanging, like that love, they hanging out in New Orleans. I mean, drinking hurricanes, riding in carriages together. I mean, not sitting like on this side to this side. They, they snuggled up. Oh, Look at this shit. Oh, Look God. at this shit. Somebody said, now, Corey, you let me go to Turkey for months. Not with that. That's right. And, family. That look, and look, and then she did. She hit it well. Okay. Shit, if I saw that shit, no, right. that shit, you, that would be, listen, Plus, that was, if, she, if she was doing that, she'd be posting on Instagram. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So you would know. You she, know. she would get a quick message. Don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your ass on there. You and goddamn Billy Bush. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, man, listen, and listen, I mean, this, this put me in a weird position because <clears throat> I, I don't mean to insinuate anything I'm about to say. Y'all gonna want to counsel me and say I'm saying something wrong? I'm not, because I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I am not condoning what this man is doing or what he will do. But I'm just saying, all this shit, they even know they're dancing, eating, snuggled up on a horse and carriage rides. So in his mind, I can see what he's thinking was well, shit, you know, we a couple. Mm -hmm. Of some kind, mm -hmm. you right. know, shit. There's all Part kinds of rules. Hell, you know, uh, shit, you my side piece, part-time lover, whatever yeah. it is, you know, we got something going on, so, yeah. <laughs> so it is my, so when you get on, <laughs> when when they get on, when they get back on the private jet, oh, shit. And, she, and she hits them with this shit. I find myself very married. Happily married. Right. Boy, his ass starts going insane. Yeah, yeah, you see yeah. it. The, I start twitching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, he, when she hits him with, no, nah, I can't do this. I'm married. He's, that motherfucker has turned into a wild animal. Yeah, he, he does. Look, look, look at him. He's like, he's like happily married. And keep in mind, there's a right answer and a wrong <laughs> <Yeah>. answer. <laughs> oh, shit. And you're 30,000 yeah, yeah, yeah. over the Atlantic yeah. right now. 35,000. We're at cruise now yeah. for you, bitch. <laughs> what? So, yo, know, if this is one of those, you got to get out of the car. You don't oh, want yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So listen, that's why I say I'm not, I, 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 I get where he probably misunderstood. <laughs> he ain't not misunderstood shit, he knew what he was doing. Uh, well, I'm just, no, he probably thought like, well shit, she came along, you know, she seemed like she was with it. So I understand uh -huh. how he probably, how he probably misread the situation, but that, again, not condoning what this man will do or has done. Uh -huh. Because when she puts that, well, I'm still married shit, he said, well, f you know what? I'll just take it. Harley, stop it. I don't want to. People. Oh, man. You, listen. This no. movie, this movie's PG-13. It is? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's PG-13. Families have gone to see this film. Yeah. This is a, this, this is a situation where uh, uh, they're, they're supposedly into each other. But keep in mind, you are watching a rape, people. Please, stop it. Please, Harley. Get off of me! That, that movie, 365 days, didn't even go this far. That's true. Dude oh, said, you wow. know what? I ain't gonna really, I'm not gonna like just physically rape you. I'm just gonna lock your ass up until mm -hmm. you change your mind <laughs> and until I get into your head. But Harley, Harley said, I got you in a plane. I do whatever I wanna yeah. do. Get off! Stop get it. Now you can say you resisted. Now, Oh. Seriously, I, I, I'm behind Tyler Perry on a lot of shit. Like, I don't care if it's bad or not. I love Tyler Perry, you know, I do. But this is one of the things that somebody said in the chat, this did not age well at all because no. this is supposed to be, this is this is Tyler Perry filming a scene where he's pretty much saying, yeah, she really wanted it. Right. That, that's that's the big problem with it because because yeah. it does not end with her, well oh well, she was really into no it. no but we'll then the next day yeah what's we'll, no we'll see yeah this is people this is uh, <laughs> yeah this is you you are watching a rape whether yeah. you know it or not and you know what the scene that's this is supposed to be like well see 
Yeah, her defenses were, but she really wanted it. But what makes this, and I probably would have gave him that. I, probably, I still would have been creeped out by the scene, but I probably would have, I probably would have, you know, listened to an argument or a debate about it. But it's the scene after that says, yeah, she she treated this like she was clearly raped. I don't want to ever say anything, Janice, can help you. Judith, are you sure about this? Wait I mean a second. It. Now I'm like, you know what? She's got a good for yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I'm like, good for you, girl. Now go and report his ass. But no, people, this is, this is how crazy this shit is, and it gets even more insulting for everybody involved. And this is this is the turning point yeah. of, of the movie. Yeah, man, this is where things now. This is where things start getting <laughs> crazy. This is where mm. things start getting insane. So this this girl is obviously raped. Mentally, she's like you said. She got PTSD. She's yeah. walking out saying, "I'm not doing this no more." Get the thousand yard stare. <laughs> yeah, on. this is where somebody would go inside, tell their husband. They call the police. Maybe you know, maybe he's so powerful. Maybe something would happen. Maybe it would. Or Who maybe knows? She's too, too. You know, she might be just but shook up and too embarrassed. embarrassed yeah, and say like, you know what? I was stupid. I let myself get in this position. Right. Yeah, but no, 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 people. What happens? The next night, she's calling his ass back. And why? And because this is what I hate in movies of, of this type. This, this is a trope I hate. She's mad because her husband's watching football and he ain't paying attention to me. Where is he right now? He's watching the game. Touchdown! <laughs> Oh, what an was, asshole. Oh, what a, what a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. you know what? I, I guess I better call the rapist. <laughs> he, he'll give me some attention. Yeah. He'll you know pay what? attention to me. This is all so ham-fisted. Like oh, that. very much so. You don't want the rapist pay attention. I mean, the stupid ass husband are going, touchdown, I'm probably watching yeah. baseball. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, because they make it so stupid. It's yeah, like, she no. calls. Yeah. She's like, he watching football, so let me go call the rapist. Right. Somebody who will give me real attention. What's what your funny? husband doing? Watching football. Yeah. Can you believe that? And that's what, what they always asshole. do in movies. The guy's always watching sports. Right. Yeah. Or just doing something that he's into right. at the moment because people have hobbies yeah. or things they like. You probably just cut the game off, too. <laughs> like, five, like five seconds yeah. ago. Yeah. After the night that she was there, the day or whatever, she was raped. She calls this dude back. Cause my husband playing football or watching football. He ain't paid attention to me. I'll confide in him. Yeah. And then she goes and starts creeping. Oh. That night, after calling him, she goes over to his house. They start taking baths like they in a Prince video or something. <laughs> <laughs> They don't, be, yeah, they don't need to be playing that song. They need to be, they need to be playing. <laughs> Why much we scream <laughs> at each other? <laughs> this is what it <laughs> sounds like. <laughs> I know, I Can we open a window? <laughs> if she's going to stay, not only if she's going to stay after me pretty much raping her in the sky, and she's going to come over and take romantic baths and everything like that. Well, her husband is as easy as her husband just simply watching football. Well, shit, now I can really be myself. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, He's like, I, I, I'm, I'm in. He's like, I'm in, man. I can really oh, be myself. You thought I was a creep. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm insane. Yeah. He says, I'm a demon. He says, I can really start showing my true self. So... <laughs> And like I said, man, I was thinking like, oh man, this dude, he turned evil just on, the, on a dime late on this movie. No, his evil side came out early in the yeah, movie. Yeah, joke. Why don't you just go home? Get out of my house. Jeff, I'm not trying what? to play some games with you. No, go. Judith. You realize that you kicking me out of your house? After he raped her and then called her over, got her creeping on her man, he, she, she said one thing that he didn't like. And he like, get out of my house. What are you pissed off about? He, st she st he said, he asked, he said, so when you gonna leave him? And he and she was like, well, look, I don't know. I'm married and everything. He's like, well, at my house then. Oh, you can't damn. give me an answer. Yeah. You know what? Fine then. Forget. Asshole, fine. <laughs> That got, 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 oh, got that evil laugh. That's very bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, is, this is very much the, the progenitor of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and listen, like, he really he really is a villain. Like, he's got his villain laugh down and everything. Yes. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> well, you know, all those Brooks boys know how to do that. Yeah, <laughs> <That's> right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might turn out you, you guys are related. Yeah. You know, <laughs> do a DNA test. <laughs> yeah. You do wine shot goes up, we sit next to him. Yeah. <laughs> you sit up there and soaking in wine. Yeah, laughing. And just just soak, still, still eating. Still, still eating. eating. Soaking oh, yeah. wine yeah. and just laughing like a villain. Not boy. even wiping it off. People. Yeah, some people didn't catch that he was this evil early on in the movie. You know, I you know, I didn't, but some people did. And one of those people we will see in the second half <laughs> of this review, <laughs> which will come next week. And this oh, is, the and, plot thickens. Yes, <laughs> and you'll want to watch the second half because this is just a setup. This movie gets crazy. You know, that's a really good place to end it because even I'm like... <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. I'm about to end it I see them all. I am. I'm for real. I'm like, oh, yeah. You've been, you've been watching so far, and it's been kind of silly and illogical and melodramatic. And this thing wrote just fucking loose. And we're getting a little creepy as it goes, but here. Yeah, this is the right. This is the break. This is the psychotic break. Yeah, this is the jump off point. <laughs> Look how he's laughing. Too. Yeah. He's pissing himself laughing. I mean, this, this shit is it's not just <laughs> whatever, bitch. Yeah. He's, he's, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's laughing. He's yeah. laughing. He's like, he's he got one of them damn muhahaha <laughs> like yeah, yeah. yeah. muhahaha. Hey, before he did that, see him yeah. getting his food too. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, I ain't gonna let this go to one. I'm still hungry. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, you can people. Be mad all you want to. Yeah, folks, this is pretty much almost. <laughs> Literally, all hell breaks loose in the day oh, next one, man. I and, mean, and good old Tyler Perry fashion, boy, just, just, like an acrimony. Yeah. And um, and I, why did I get married too? Yeah, oh, but man. hey, listen, that that rape shit was uncomfortable. But man, this is classic oh, Tyler Perry, boy. Classic Tyler Perry. This is the Tyler Perry I love. When we get to the next half, I know some people are saying. Keep going, but hey, man, you know, and y'all even said that this would have to be a two-party because it's too crazy, and yes, it is. People, this is no regular bad movie roast. This is a Tyler Perry bad movie roast, all right? For real.